UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Des Moines, Iowa, Josh the Death yeah. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 19 wins, 5 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 154 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the Ultimate Fighter Season 6 winner, Matt Townsend! When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Jorge Alonso. Jorge Alonso, our referee. Mac Danzig. Josh Neer. Ready, ready, bring it on! Our fight clock brought to you by New Line Cinemas, Friday the 13th in theaters everywhere. Friday the 13th. Black trunks for Josh Neer. White trunks for Mac Danzig. Danzig loves to kick with that lead leg, Joe. And he doesn't mind going high with the head. He got caught with the right hand. Josh Sears jumping all over him. Danzig trying to get out of trouble here. Uppercut. And Danzig able to recover. Near hit him with some solid shots there by good shots to the body. And, and that may caution Matt Danzig from going away from one of his biggest weapons. And that is that lead left kick. And he went for the head kick early. I just think he needed to set it up a little bit more. His stand-up looked outstanding in the Clay Guida fight, but he was taunted by Guida, Guida in a route to a decision loss. But his stand-up looked very crisp. He went for it again, so so much for that theory. He's not afraid to go right back after it. Near coming now, kind of waving his hands around. Nate Diaz style. Josh Near the dentist. Jeremy Stevens in our main event tonight. They have some legendary sparring sessions. Nice counter right there off the off the fence. Caught him with the left and again and again. Again, he's hurt. Yeah, good combinations by Danzig. Danzig with a head movement. Deer is very tough though. Yeah. This guy can take a pounding and keep coming. We saw him in the Melvin Gillard fight. He had a gigantic gash on his head and wound up catching Melvin in a triangle when it looked like the fight was about to be stopped. Well, he's estimated to have close to 100 amateur fights in Iowa with one loss. I mean, so this is a dude that has been in all kinds of battles, Josh Deere. Danzig, born in Cleveland, Ohio, fighting out of Las Vegas. Just had a baby girl, Nova Grace, in November. Very cerebral fighter in the season six. Ultimate fighter, welterweight winner. Moved down to 155 after the show uppercut. And then over the top. Right here on Spike, two weeks from tonight, from London, England, Diego Sanchez at 155 against Joe Stevenson. Check your listings for international times. Tickets still available at the O2 Arena box office and Ticketmaster.co.uk. Good right hand over the top there by Dancing, and it's cut near. I'm not sure if that cut him, but something cut him. I'll tell you what, Danzig looks very sharp, and he's fixing things up nicely, Joe. Danzig. Trying to come over the top again. And Near closes in. As you said, though, you got to really deliver to Josh Near if you're going to finish this kick. Trying to chop that front leg. Near just keeps coming forward. Wrestling nice is in six, kick. Josh Near. Winner of three of his last four fights. Nine career wins by knockout or TKO. And he is an old And over the top again. Danzig really looking sharp tonight, Joe. And that, that gash over the eyes, over the left eye, is starting to leak a little bit. Right kind of on the eyelid. Underneath the eyebrow left side of Josh Neer. Near looking for a triangle. He was trying to hold on to Danzig's right arm. He 
does have a very good guard. As you said, he caught Melvin Gillard, so he was in big trouble. He's throwing his legs up right there. There he's got it locked up. was having uh, a lot of trouble here with Josh Neer. You see Josh Neer, even off his back, very dangerous, goes for an attempted armbar here, tries to turn it into an omoplata, spins out, and gets Danzig up to his feet. Great performance by both.